Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about two-step equations and you will be able to do 11.12. Uh, today, students will be able to solve two-step equations. And so from previous lessons, you have seen that we have inverse operations. They cancel each other. And so addition and subtractions are inverse operations because they cancel each other and division and multiplication are inverse operations because they cancel each other okay uh, so let's start with some examples of equations that take two steps to be able to solve them and so in here whenever we have a coefficient and a variable and also we have a constant that the first thing that we are going to cancel is the constant number okay so whatever is being added or subtracted that's the first thing you're going to cancel and so in here if we're adding 5 the opposite of adding 5 is subtracting 5 and this sign means that the two are equal okay these two sides are equal and if you subtract on one side, they're not going to be equal anymore. You have to subtract on the other side as well. Okay. And so this 5 minus 5 is 0. That's why you cancel it. And you just put the 3x equals. Then you have 20 minus 5. That's 15. Remember that coefficient and variable together means multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 3. Remember that when we put this line in here, it's a fraction form. And any fraction means divide. Okay, so we cancel that. And so what do we have left? Oh, and we do it on the other side as well. Okay, don't put 3x in here because then you would have to cancel the, 3x, the x as well. It's just divided by 3. That cancels. But if we divide here, we divide on the other side. <clears throat> and so we have x equals 15 divided by 3. That's 5. And so that's my answer. So what was the first step? Cancel by subtracting. And then in here is cancel by dividing. Okay, those are the steps. When we have two steps, this is the first step, this is the second step. Now let's look at another one. <clears throat> Remember that if you don't have enough time to, to do it, pause the video and then copy it. Okay, we're going to cancel. The goal is to leave X by itself. Vamos a dejar la X solita o despejar la X. So, tengo que cancelar el 9 y el negativo 3, o el menos 3. We always get rid of this first, okay? Not the coefficient, but the constant. So, if we're subtracting 3, we're going to cancel by adding 3, okay? So, plus 3. Again, we'll do a line where the equal sign is just to divide and know that you have to add 3 here and also on the other side of that line. Some people put plus 3 and plus 3 in here on the same side. So it's like adding 3 and adding 3 again. So it makes it more unequal. So that cancels because if you owe 3 and pay 3, that means 0. So now you have 9x equals 15 plus 3. That's 18. This means multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is to cancel by dividing cancel by dividing we draw a line once we put the two that are the same notice how i don't put the equal sign in here some people put the equal no now when you're canceling we don't put any equal sign right there nine divided by nine is one but we don't put one x okay the coefficient one is omitted so you don't put it and 18 divided by 9, 
is two. Something else that I want to remind you is that in division, we keep the same sign. Notice how in subtraction and addition, it changes. It looks like it changes. It's the operation, but from plus to minus, in here, we don't say plus and minus, okay? It's the same sign in division and multiplication. Okay, let's do more examples. And so, now we have, again, the one that we want to isolate is the B. Okay, and we have this equal sign. That's where my line is going to go. Now, B is the one that we, has to stay alone. So what are we going to get rid of? The 3 and the minus 8. Remember that we don't get rid of the coefficient first. It's the constant. So if we're subtracting 8, the opposite is to add 8. And also on the other side of the line. We cancel this and we get... 3b, and in here 1 plus 8 is 9. Then, if we're multiplying, the opposite of multiplying is to divide. Okay, dividing by 3, again, is the number that is next to the variable. The goal is to leave that variable by itself. That cancels. And so B is equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. If you want to write in here, you can just say cancel by adding, cancel by dividing. Okay, I'm going to um, not write it anymore. But you can do if you want to. Again, my line is here. Okay. And... Again, I want to get rid of everything that is surrounding the x. However, we always get rid of the plus minus. This doesn't mean minus 8. It's multiplied by negative 8. Okay, multiply. So we always get rid of the plus minus. So it's going to be, if it's adding, the opposite is to cancel by subtracting. 4 minus 4 is 0. So we just get rid of it. We cancel it. Bring down the negative 8x. On this side, 20 minus 4, 16. Um, one little detail that some, some students forget is they want to get rid of the 20 because usually we get rid of things on this side. But no, it's the numbers that are around or next to x. Okay, so that's why we're canceling the 4, not the 20. The 4 and then the 8. Okay? The goal is to leave x by itself. So if we're multiplying by negative 8, the opposite is to divide by negative 8. Remember that in division and multiplication, we divide with the same sign or multiply with the same sign. And so we get x in here equals positive divided by negative, negative. 16 divided by 8, 2. And that's going to be my answer. Um, I'm going to do a quick check in here. If you want to check all your answers in all of your equations, you can replace this in x. And so we get 20 <coughs> equals negative 8 times the value of x, which is negative 2, right? We found out that x is negative 2, so we replace the value in there, plus 4. And it says that 20, that this is equal to 20, so that means that when I multiply and add that 4, it should be equal to 20 on this side as well. So negative times negative is positive, 8 times 2 is 16, and then bring down the 4. And then 16 plus 4. Yes, it is 20. So check. We say that our answer is correct. Okay, this is called the checkup test. Uh, it's just to check to see if your answer is correct. You can do it for all of them if you want to. Or um, a couple to make sure that you're right. Okay. Let's do two more. 
there it is so again this is my line of division where the equal sign is and so again we're multiplying and subtracting this is where my x is on this side so i'm gonna get rid always always all almost always <laughs> um, in the next lesson i'm going to show you when there is an ex exception so if we're subtracting three the opposite is to add three almost always the addition and subtraction first okay that cancels and you get negative 2x equals negative 11 plus 3 remember that in addition same signs we add, different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the greater one. The greater is negative, so the answer will be negative. And we subtract because it's a positive and a negative, so 11 minus 3, 8. Ah, I'm so sorry. We still need the negative 2. What am I thinking about? So if we're multiplying, the opposite is to divide. Remember that in division, we keep the same sign. And so, now this is the real answer. <laughs> this cancels. Negative divided by negative, positive. A divided by 2 is 4. This is the answer. Look at that. Okay. Uh, again, you can just check without even writing it. So, negative 2 times 4, that's negative 8. Negative 8 and negative 3, that's negative 11. So yes, it's correct. Now if you need to see it written, negative 2 times the value of x, which is 4, minus 3, and it should be equals to negative 11. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Bring down the negative 3, and it should be equals to negative 11. Remember, same sign, we add and keep the sign of the greater one. So negative 8, 9, 10, 11 is equal to negative 11. So check. Okay. So basically, you just replace this value in the variable and then just do PEMDAS. Okay, the last one. If we're adding... We cancel by subtracting. Okay, cancel by subtracting. This cancels because 2 minus 2 is 0. And we have left negative 7m equals 23 minus 2 is 21. Now, this means multiplication when I cancel by dividing. Divide both sides. Remember that when we're dividing, we keep the same sign. Okay, so negative divided by negative. How come we need to keep the same sign? Because if we did positive, then it will be negative. Divided by positive is negative. 7 divided by 7 cancels, and then you would have a negative M. That means more steps. So that's why keep the same sign, so that when you cancel, it's negative 7 divided by, neg by negative 7, is positive 1m, but we don't put the coefficient 1. Positive divided by negative, negative. 21 divided by 7, 3, and so that's my answer. Okay? Um, since it's the last one, I think I'm going to do the checkup test. You don't have to do the checkup test, but it's a good practice. So you have negative 7 multiplied by the value of m, m is negative 3, you add 2 equals 23, negative times negative is positive, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 should be equals to 23, and 21 plus 2, 23 is equals to 23, so check. Okay, so with that, you're now able to work on your assignment, which is... 11.12 and have fun.